Do you remember in January you used to sit down with your travel brochures travel to brochures, circle yeah. where you yeah, would go and all that sort of thing? And then that was sort of done away with because people thought, let's do it ourselves. Well, I think internet and things, and people started Googling stuff and, and they could do that cheaper. cheaper. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's predicted almost 7 million of us are set to book their holiday this very week. Peaks this weekend. It is called Sunshine Saturday, OK? And Sounds all this nice, doom and gloom, people want to do that. Uh, there is a 40% increase in package holidays compared to this time last year. Now, let's Let's go to our travel man, Simon Calder, who's got a tale to tell. He's in, yes, you've read that correctly, Ecuador. Not Essex, he's in Ecuador. Uh, he's not are supposed you supposed to be there, was Okay, he? you're not supposed to be. Tell us, tell us the story, Simon. Oh, well, the operational difficulties, according to the airline I'm on, Avianca, I was due to fly out um, sometime yesterday morning from uh, uh, the Galapagos Islands um, on the way back. But unfortunately, um, uh, due to uh, these problems, which I'm still trying to figure out exactly what they were, um, I got stranded the wrong side of the Andes in Guayaquil okay. in Ecuador, well, that's, which that's is where the, I am now. That's the bad news. The good news is it's, it's the comeback in the resurgence of an old-fashioned profession which we're going to talk about and deal with in the studio very shortly and that is the travel agent which has come to your rescue. Well, exactly. I, I do like package holidays. While, of course, um, you can book your own trip online, you are taking all the risk. Yes, it might be a bit more flexible. Yes, you might save a bit of money. But I tell you what, on a trip like this, I'm extremely glad that I booked a proper package holiday through a travel specialist. And as a result, when it became clear that everything was falling apart, I just sent a quick email saying, help. And they did. They have to sort things out for you. It's uh, it's not because they're nice, although they are. It's because the package travel regulations 1992, which I know you've read as well as I have, um, say the travel company has to look after you all the way from checking in at Gatwick or Manchester until you're at the airport about to come home. Well, and uh, so I'm staying in um, this, this lovely hotel, which um, so far isn't seeing much activity. It's still not quite okay. six o'clock 